are. Um, what kind of, uh, you know, how special the moment is that for you? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we've talked about it all season, how, you know, 365 days ago, uh, you know, we uh, went to Missoula and we didn't uh, come out with the outcome that we uh, really wanted. So really this whole off season, it's been, you know, won't be beat and just try to, you know, do whatever it takes to win. And, you know, it, it was grateful to go out there with uh, my teammates and, you know, we just had the love for one another and, you know, got the got the victory today and that was pretty awesome. Coach talked a lot about momentum at the beginning of the season and today you guys went seven for seven in the red zone. So how does it feel just looking back on that to know that can execute that level. Yeah, I think it's huge. I mean, everyone can, you know, drive the ball between the 25s, but really what separates from uh, winning and losing the football games is, you know, finishing in that uh, in that end zone. Um, and to be able to score with points every single time we went down there, that was that was a huge part of the game. Oh, big day for the whole back tight end group, especially what you think of you and Snell and, and, and Pig and all those guys. Yeah, no, it was awesome to see. Uh, awesome to see the Pac Wu uh, go out there and, you know, in the end zone a couple times and you know it was awesome to see you know just everyone on this entire football team you know got there and just make plays and it, it was awesome Is that a pack Is that so effectively? you know i think it was just you know they have you know montana as a football team they do a lot of twisting and gaps so it prevents it presents a big challenge for people playing them and you know we just had to you know come off the ball and be the more physical team and that's ultimately what um you know, wins you these type of football games. Was there a moment you thought that you knew they couldn't stop you? I mean, honestly, you're so locked into the game that you're, you know, you're always thinking that, you know, no one can stop you. But, yeah, obviously, I mean, they're one of the best rush defenses in the entire country. And, you know, we had to come off the ball with the most physical team every play. And I thought we did that for four straight quarters, which is huge. There's two third and longs where you're the lead blocker for Tommy and uh, you had great blocks, but also, I mean, how big of a weapon is that to be able to run it on third and long with your quarterback and get 12, 14 yards? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's definitely a huge thing. Um, people aren't really expecting you to, you know, run the quarterback on, you know, third and longs, but, um, you know, we felt confident in our ability as an O-line, as an offense, receivers, you know, blocking downfield that, you know, we could pick up those first downs. Um, and if, even if we didn't get the first down, we were going to get it on fourth down, so. You, yeah. felt, you say pack looper? For Snell and Pickering, is that right? Yeah, it's just kind of what we uh, call our group, and the Pack Woo, so I had to give a shout out to that. What's that stand for? Oh, it's just kind of our mantra. So, okay, yeah. okay. Well, um, that, that, that touchdown that he threw to Pickering, um, uh, House Wright told us that was uh, inspired by the Derrick Henry pass. Did you know Yeah, about I mean, that? we installed it at practice on Friday at like 4 o'clock, and we ran it two times, so it was pretty sweet to, you know, we just kind of put it in there, and, you know, it was pretty awesome to see. RJ, what was this whole week like for you with ESPN College Game Day here being here? And how special is it to get the win with all of that happening? Yeah, I mean, obviously, just having the amount of eyes that were on this program, it was awesome to see. And, you know, we we knew that there was going to be a lot of distractions or potential distractions. And as a football team, I think we did a really good job of, you know, really taking in that atmosphere of, you know, it's college game day. And, you know, it's a pretty special moment to have those guys come to your state. Um, come to this university and, and be a part of this special game. But at the end of the day, it came down to um, the football between the white lines and ultimately we got the job done. He's got champs, so how's that sound? You know, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, for the last two years, we've, you know, finished second and it's it's pretty amazing to, you know, finally get to hoist that uh, Big Sky Championship trophy. Describe that feeling of scoring that final touchdown in your final kickers. Well, honestly, I was like, I was, didn't really know what was going on and then I was like oh I guess I'm running back on this play or whatever so I just ran it in there and you know it's pretty special to be able to score and celebrate with my teammates and you know it's just a fun day to be a Bobcat. Do you have any thoughts on where or how high your team should be ranked or seated? I mean yeah whatever happens happens I mean um, the we did what we can do and the rest of it's out of our control so um, we're going to go back to work this next week and, and get better as uh, Bobcats and you know try to put our best foot uh, moving forward uh, going into the playoffs uh, because you know every single week it's you know winter go home season so we're going to have to come out there and, and be ready to go. And I know you're selfless all about the team but how personally satisfying was this win for you being that? He talked about it growing mm -hmm. up you grew up with it in a Grizz family. Yeah I mean it's, it's pretty special to uh, you know, just growing up, a, a part of the rivalry, and 
you know, just kind of knowing about um, this cat Grizz and you know, it was pretty special. Had my opportunity to play at Montana State and um, I'm really grateful to have uh, gone to this university, got my degree and, you know, had some great teammates and you know, it's just been a, a great moment and today was pretty special. Thanks, Jake. Yeah. Coming from Brawl the Wild, is uh, this win over the Grizz any more special than other ones you've had in the past since game day was here? I mean, anytime um, you get a win over your rival, it's pretty special, um, especially, you know, being our the last cat Grizz that we'll play in, uh, knowing that we went out on top against those guys, that was pretty awesome and, you know, really grateful for teammates and it's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you.